kejadian tsunami. It was early in the morning and I was on my way to the pond. Hari Minggu. There was a huge earthquake. When I arrived at the fish pond, I saw waves, huge waves coming. I couldn't understand what was happening to the sea. My name is Malcolm Beveridge. I am director of aquaculture and genetics at the World Fish Centre. Today, just under half of all fish consumed comes from aquaculture. As I ran home, I watched the house swept away by the water. I shouted at my wife and children, race up to the hill and try to escape the water. We've been working in Aceh for the last four or five years to look at how we could build the resilience of coastal communities. Five days after the tsunami, I returned to the village. I saw that all the ponds has been destroyed. I was devastated because there was no work. I couldn't earn any money. It was awful to see the ponds that way. I felt terrible wondering how on earth I could support my family. The World Fish Centre helped us rebuild the ponds to their former state. Now, the ponds are fine. When you've got fish in a pond, there's always a meal there for the family whenever they need it. But we want to go further than that. It's essential that we connect these small producers to markets so that they can buy good seed and access good feed materials and that they can produce a product that can be sold to places where people need the food. In the past, it was really, really tough. But now, with the cooperative, things are much, much better. Whenever we need something, we just have to ask them. If there was no cooperative, it would be very difficult to get the money together that we need to buy the seed. The cooperative really is a tremendous help. Achenis, we are lucky. I think uh, Achenis is a strong uh, spirit to see the, the hope to see the future. A tsunami also make them lose hope in somewhere. Traumatic is, I think, uh, limited uh, time, maybe up to 10 years or 15 years, something like that. If we facilitate them as a trauma healing with income generating, but if we never think about that, they will lose hope forever. Let's bring them to see the hope. We can extract no more fish from our seas and rivers. If we want to eat more fish, and there are many people in the world who not only want to eat more fish, they need to eat more fish, then we have to learn how to farm them and farm them well and wisely. I started working at the ponds when I was 15. It was a difficult time. I was an orphan and I was not educated. I had nothing. I work every day and save money little by little. After 10 years, I was able to buy a pond and the money I earn, I can keep. My life is no longer a mess. I'm proud and I'm happy. <laughs>